all right uh, some of you guys have requested for me to uh, do a quick video on the uh, trigger shoe that I bought for my Glock 43 and uh, you guys are talking about this shoe right here it's uh, from Kinetic Tech I got it on Amazon I'll put the link in the description they got different uh, style and uh, different safety color and things in that nature now some of you guys said that uh, it was blocking my finger when I pulled the trigger on my first video so um, we'll do this again but anyway this is very easy to install I checked it uh, I think it was about 50 bucks you know it's not the full trigger system it's just the shoe okay I installed this myself as I said uh, in my first video and uh, it's it's great. It's more comfortable uh, than the original Glock um, trigger shoe. This does not uh, lessen your trigger pull um, pound, uh, if you may. This is just a shoe. If you want to lighten up your trigger pull, you might want to shoot your gun a little bit more, or buy some aftermarket uh, connectors out there. You got the Ghost Edge. The Ghost uh, Pro, which uh, needs a little bit more of uh, filing, and also the new Terran Tactical Glock 42 and 43 connector as well. So there are other aftermarkets out there that you can buy to line up your trigger pull if that's what concerns you. But as far as with my Glock 43, I have the Terran Tactical connector inside and the trigger shoe as i you know told you guys before and some other people had said that the uh trigger shoe for the glock 43 um is somewhat sharp you know it's actually uh hurt some people and they said that it put nipples in their index finger and it did to me too until i file it with a nail file you can do that you don't have to spend this extra 50 bucks but if you have the money and if you want to look, you know, your Glock 43 to look somewhat cooler, um, it's not a bad option. You know, this is way cheaper than other trigger shoe out there that, as I mentioned, um, I checked out online. Uh, for example, the SSPI trigger shoe alone is about 150 bucks plus tax. So you're looking into whatever, you know, that's a lot of money for just a trigger shoe alone, not the full um, drop-in trigger system. Now, if it was a full dropping trigger system then I would consider it but not with that kind of money you know now um, anyway so without any further um, let's check it out so Glock 43 as you guys can see um, this is the again Kinetic Tech trigger shoe only okay I installed this myself as I said in my previous video okay and here you guys can see that There you go and the reset as some of you guys were are curious about is right here and my finger is in the way again here we go I'm trying to make this so you guys could see right there okay again it's right there Again, it's not a bad option. Um, to me, you know, as I've shot a lot of fulcrum trigger and Zevtex trigger, as as they say, um, it looks similar to it, like a knockoff type, you know, obviously. But it's you know much better looking than the uh, than the uh, original Glock trigger shoe. Okay, they, my internals are pretty much the same. I just polished them. And put a connector on it but other than that it's all stock um, as I said in my previous video I've done a few things to my Glock you know to include the sights um, slide cover base uh, slide cover plate right there um, and the talon grips uh, you know uh, not much to it I mean you can't really do a lot of stuff to it is you know then um, then other bigger Glocks 19 and 17 and so on and so forth you know not not too much stuff out there but there's enough 
for you to customize your Glock 43 if you want to. Um, this is again the Kinetic Tech Glock 43 trigger shoe only. Okay, this is black on black. It does not um, uh, help with your trigger pull if that's what you guys are looking into. You know, line up your trigger pull. That, that's not what it is for. This is just for comfortability. It's a lot comfortable. It's not sharp at all. It's flat. Just like those uh, high-end trigger shoe that we've seen on other Glocks, like the Zebtech God, uh, Agency Arms, Salient Arms, you know, or Agent Arms. You know, those those guys they have a very expensive trigger system and and Glock parts aftermarkets. But this one, this company is is you know somewhat cheap, and I opted to do it because, like I said, this is my carry gun. And I'm not looking to. I'm not looking for a race gun. You know, this is not a competition gun, but it's much better looking than the original one, and it's much more comfortable than the original one. So, um, to install this is very simple. As I told you guys, I use my cutting board and um, some house screwdrivers and and things like that. You know, I didn't need any special tools. It's very easy to um, install and. But just to take note, if you install a new trigger shoe, um, taking off your original trigger shoe, uh, you pretty much have to break it and damage it. You know, if you guys want to see that again, let me know. Maybe I can um, take this off and put it back in so you guys could see how I did it. But it's very simple, self-explanatory, um, nothing to it. Again, here's the trigger shoe. This is the Kinetic Tech again. There, and then reset. Forgive my camera here, it's not working with me. Right there. So, it's not bad. And it's again, it's very comfortable. This is black on black. Let me know what you guys think. Here's a close up to it. Maybe a lot better. Right cock. Here, here's a close up. That's what it look like. They got different styles, different colors. Again, it's on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Y'all can check them out. Okay? There you go. Glock 43 Kinetic Tech Trigger Shoe. Alone. And it's great. You know, very good option. And uh, again, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.